If you buy a Porsche 996 today, is it about the same as buying stock in GameStop? The 996 generation of the Porsche 911 has been the most affordable 911 for some time now. But some recent sales of early 996 Carreras have seen them going for more money than lower mileage 997 generation cars. It wasn't all that long ago that you could pick up a 996 Turbo or C4S for under $30,000. Unfortunately, for those of us who haven't been able to get one yet, prices are simply becoming out of reach for many. I've seen a number of 996 C4Ss fetching over $50,000, and higher mileage examples are still fetching over $40,000. 996 Turbos have seen similar price increases, with the higher mileage examples going for over $40,000. And prices can easily go over $70,000 depending on the mileage condition and specs. I know I'm working on a time machine to try to go back a few years and convince myself to go buy a few. Unfortunately, I think I was taken on that flux capacitor because when I gun this thing to 88, all that's happened is I've gotten a speeding ticket. In the US, so far we have received three rounds of stimulus checks. Beyond this, many people with children are about to receive monthly payments for each child as part of the increased child tax credit. For those whose jobs hasn't been affected by the craziness that's happened recently, many have used it to just put money into savings and now they have a bit of cash to buy something fun. Sure, it really isn't enough to buy a whole 996 Carrera, but it is enough to have a good head start. I guess I shouldn't have spent all my stimulus money on this air conditioner for this garage. But at the time, it seemed like a cool idea. Beyond the extra cash, the overall used car market is up. Much of this is due to supply chain issues for new cars. The result is increased demand for used cars. Although it is debatable how much of this shortage is actually driving up values of the 996 as it is an enthusiast car. Some YouTubers have audiences bigger than traditional TV shows. In the automotive niche, a number of YouTubers with good followings have either purchased a 996 or given a Porsche 996 a good review in the not so distant past. They aren't called influencers for nothing. I mean, I'm even a very small part of this. If you'd like to help me become a bigger part of the problem, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. These positive reviews of the 996 have helped people understand that the turbo and GT cars don't have an IMS bearing, so there's no issue with them. Beyond this, it's helped other people get past that IMS bearing feel, knowing that there are retrofit or years where the IMS bearing is less likely to fail. And fear of the IMS bearing is a large reason for values being so low on the 996s in the past. Like me, I'm sure their positive take on a 996 has nothing to do with the fact that they already own a Porsche 996 and stand to benefit from their opinion. For a number of years now, inflation has simply been held in check. But coming out of the recent craziness, inflation in the United States is now at a 5% level, which is the largest it's been in over a decade. The cause of this inflation includes supply chain issues and the fact that many industries are having to pay much more for employees just to try to attract talent. All of this means your dollar is simply worth a bit less. And when your money just isn't worth as much, prices have to go up. And that is the case with the used car market in general. And enthusiast cars are also seeing a similar issue. Hey, I guess I should have bought four 996s back when I bought this one. I have a small fortune in Porsche 996s, right? For anyone that doesn't know, Bring a Trailer is an auction site that, unlike its name suggests, isn't about getting a good deal. On the site, you'll often end up paying retail or a bit more for a car. Most of the super high priced 996 Carreras that have sold recently have been early 996s with fairly low mileage. But outside of one having a factory aero kit, there hasn't really been anything special about these cars, except for maybe an odd color. We do have to consider whether or not these deals actually went through, which we don't know for sure, as it is an incredibly steep price increase from just a year ago. Hey, they don't call it the bring a trailer tax for nothing. In general, the Porsche 996 generation has seen a 40% increase in prices over the past year, according to data presented by Four Wheel Trader. I'm a really big fan of the Porsche 996. Hey, I bought one. But that's starting to get to some very high numbers. In fact, if you buy a 996 Carrera now, you're gonna be paying about the same as you would have for a 911 Carrera 3.2 just five years ago. But it does look like the Porsche 996 is on its way to being worth relatively good money, especially when you consider its higher production. So numbers. is buying a Porsche 996 about the same as buying stock in GameStop? I don't think so, but I do think you're gonna to have to hold on to it for a while in order to see returns. Now, if you'd like to see my arguments for why the 996 generation Porsche 911 is the best 911, check out this video.